Welcome back to the campus of Florida State University, where we are about to jump into game four between Edward Gaiman and SKT. The store stands at two on one for EDG. And as we see that Faker is setting up because he is being subbed in for SKT to bring it back for that team in this one. Well, EDG on match point in this one if they close it out. And just the early game, once again, fantastic for them. Have a stat line here. Uh, EDG has gotten seven. Uh, first Bloods out of the 11 games they have played, 100% goal participation for clear of in those. And that is very impressive. But the most impressive thing is what EDG does with that after a lead and SKT not being able to bring that back. Snowball. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I feel oh. about Nunu. Um, I had to get you some therapy after yesterday. <laughs> I appreciate it, Monty. Uh, we had a talking, a long talk on the couch. But honestly, these junglers, both of these junglers, have shown a proficiency on all of the top junglers right now. So if you're not going to fully focus on the jungle in picks and bands, <laughs> it's almost not worth just mm -hmm. half-heartedly throwing a couple bands that way. Yeah, I totally agree. And we, we do have to talk a little bit about the composition, I think, from SKT in that last game, too. Because that's a composition that I'm very familiar because they play with they played a lot. But it depends on having vision control over the Dragon Pit, because you have to have that advantage to use the speed from Sibber and Lulu in order to make a pick. So when you give that up, and when he, with EDG diving the top lane, if SKT isn't there together as five, it, that comp is never going to work. And I think that the Faker sub-in is probably a result of that, because they need something else. They needed a skirmisher or uh, something to make plays in the mid lane, and Faker will provide that. Yeah, trying to run a comp based on vision against Nunu is extremely difficult. That early sight zone rush, very easy for him. The other thing is that um, EDG, they keep finding success with these two very late game, very high DPS carries that they're running with the simple front line that Crumbs keeps bringing up to. So you have to break up one of those two parts of the comp. Yeah, and of course, Def back on his comfort pick of Jinx 2, something that mm -hmm. he's seen an extraordinary amount of success with in the LPL. And even though she is, she can be weak in the laning phase. He's still picking up those early kills. He's getting those dives, and Clear Love is helping him out. I think he's like 14 and zero now this year on Jinx. So yeah, but Banks just <laughs> gonna good. buy an Avers blade and make up for it, or not oh, really? God. No. But then the bottom line is, um, Faker. Of course, he didn't get to play in the LCK finals. He's coming in here. He definitely will have something to prove. Monty, how are you seeing this going? Because match point for EDG. That is. Uh, extreme amount of pressure on SKT right now. Well, uh, Faker is clutch. I mean, we saw mm -hmm. in the match point in the last one against Fnatic, he really came up big in that last game. And in the last three best of fives that SKT had played, so one here and two in the Korean playoffs, they had Easy Hoon for the first two games against CJ, lost them both. Faker comes in, wins the next three to move on to the finals. And they never had to use him because they won 3-0 with Easy Hoon against the GE Tigers. So he's the guy they really look to. There's a lot of pressure on his shoulders. But <laughs> is there a more experienced player in the world who's been in these situations, do or die? SK Telecom has a habit of going behind in series and making these comebacks. Very good point. Your keyword there is clutch. <laughs> and we were talking a little bit about the Ezreal possibility as well. You know, another, this long range champion, they bring in Faker, he's gonna make the half court shot for them to possibly take out and go to game five. And it, it helps with those dives as well, because we've seen him use that true shot barrage to turn around dives in the past. And Ezreal's a very strong harass champion. Many mid laners have a real problem dealing with his poke. Yeah, we will see what they decide to go for. In any case, Faker is on the rift for game four. So casters, take it away. Thank you very much, Ifya, Kobe, and Monte Cristo. What a game game four is going to be. The sub has been played. Jat, you were wondering if that was one of the final cards that SKT would play. And I, kind of with Faker now, they don't have the option to pinch themselves into a composition like yeah. that because it's not what he plays. Well, they kind of had to change something yeah. because game three went so poorly. Right. And Faker does bring that new dimension, whether it's opening up the LeBlanc ban, a more assassination play style, but he still has the option to play 